Greetings, Marcus Melnick here with FirearmMentor.com coming at you with another video on firearm education. So a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine in a social media group posted about a product called a Go Gun Gas Pedal. And this Go Gun Gas Pedal will is a device, and I'm going to show it and demonstrate it and review it that will keep your thumbs out of the way of the slide so you don't get slide bite. As everybody knows who is who owns a semi-automatic pistol, this part right here is a moving part. So the pro proper way to grip it is to have your thumbs on the same side of the gun. As an instructor, I found that a lot of people don't quite get that and they cross their thumbs behind each other or behind the slide. While this was good for up to say the 1970s when everyone had a revolver, guns have evolved, the technology has evolved. Now uh, semi-automatics are extremely reliable whereas previously they weren't so reliable. So um, the challenge I have as an instructor is teaching thumbs on the same side of the gun. So. There is this product called the Go Gun Gas Pedal. This is it. It basically, you need a firearm with a rail on the bottom. And as long as you have a rail on the bottom, this bolts in, has a little uh, thumb rest that sticks out. And I'll give you this angle. So some of the criticism I saw on social media was, oh, it's a gimmick. Oh, you, good luck finding a holster for it. True. Uh, good luck finding a holster that's for something that will accommodate this, that is not custom made. However, for a new gun owner who doesn't quite get or is in a bad habit of crossing their thumbs, what happens when you cross your thumbs is this part moves and with such speed and it's sharp enough, it will cut you open. And it's happened to me, it's happened to a ton of people. I've only seen one person need to go to the hospital for that type of injury, and I was the one that had to call 911. Not one of my students. I was working at a shooting range, and um, uh, an older gentleman who probably grew up in the era of revolvers rented a semi-automatic, went on the range, passed the test, went on the range, shot it, cut himself here, and came out, needed a Band-Aid, most of the time it's a band-aid fix. So uh, I sarcastically say out of the kindness of our hearts, we sent in an instructor after him to teach him the proper way to grip a semi-automatic. And when the instructor was satisfied, he left the range and the shooter continued to shoot, teaching him thumbs on the same side. Well, for some reason, this shooter wanted to shoot left-handed and then crossed his thumbs again and had a cut so deep here that I had to call 911. He needed he needed to go to the hospital. He needed he was very calm, uh, and he was he was treated. We put pressure on the wound, you know, bandaged it, but he did need stitches. So it's very important to have your thumbs on the same side of the gun. As an instructor, I tell students, I don't care. I really don't care. Your thumbs are on the same side of the gun. Are they like this, which is more of a revolver? Are they? You have a plus sign do you have this is it is it the way the textbook says is your finger here which is also according to the textbook incorrect but after shooting for 42 years working in public safety for 27 and training thousands and thousands of people i have determined that it really doesn't matter where your thumbs are if you have to make a modification and that's just the way you shoot and you are uh, shots are accurate I'm not going to come in and say, no, 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 it says in the book, you must put your thumb in the particular place. Now I have an educational tool. So uh, what happens, and I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can see a different angle. You know, we all know how to grip a gun, finger off the trigger, not a real gun. So if I put my finger on the trigger, not a big deal. And again, I'm exaggerating so you can see it on the camera. So basically your left hand wraps around. What I tell people to do is an upside down karate chop. Wrap your fingers and your left thumb, if you are right-handed, will rest right on this little piece of plastic, putting your hands in the right position. Why is this valuable? 
Well, it, it, we wouldn't do this on a carry gun because, again, holsters are going to be problematic. However, if you have a firearm, and this is removable, if you have a, a firearm with a rail and you're going to the range, you're not doing holster draw, you're just doing, um, you know, regular pick up the gun from the, from the uh, bench and shoot it, this is a great tool to get your muscle memory intact. You can get this at GoGun, G-O-G-U-N, USA.com. It is not universal, so it is, um, it is mapped or printed to your specific gun. Uh, this is obviously a, a Glock replica, so I got the Glock 1923 gas pedal. Give you a little bit more information. Um, and some of this is marketing on, uh, from the company. It'll say most shooters will do best by pointing a thumb towards the bore and not down. Pointing down may cause failure. Grip offhand very, very hard. Trigger hand and finger very loose. I don't really like that instruction. Installation is simple. Attached to the Picatinny rail with hardware and wrench supplied. Round screw goes in the first lock washer attached. So it gives you some information. And it's dyed glass infused nylon by 3D print. Okay. There also is a little instruction manual you get showing you the correct and incorrect way to hold your thumbs. And some of this literature will tell you, congratulations, thank you for buying our product, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is designed to be used with the opposable grip. Same method that has dominated open class shooting in US Peace SA competition, winning virtually every big competition. The gas pedal is designed to use the same winning technique in a carry gun, like Benny Hill, the gunsmith said, winning don't lie. I don't really know who he is. Benny Hill, to me, was a comedian and had a TV show, a, a British TV show, which I thought was kind of entertaining. Anyway, I digress. Uh, it facilitates grip on the offhand. You can get it for right-handed shooters and left-handed shooters. And it tells you to push your thumb towards the barrel while you are wrapping your fingers. One of the things I've learned is that your support hand should be tighter than your main hand. And the reason why is your strong hand or your main hand will control the gun before the recoil. So it controls the shake, but your support hand actually, if the tighter you hold it, the less pop or the less recoil you're gonna get with the firearm. So always tighter with the, with the support hand and let's put our thumbs in the correct textbook position. Uh, if your thumb is on the slide, you will feel the slide move. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to burn you. It's not going to cut you. But you will feel the metal moving. Not a big deal. Happens to me. All right. So if you're interested, and again, this is a, an independent review. I purchased a product. I don't have any affiliation with the company. I thought it was a great training tool for you to use and utilize. Uh, if you take a concealed carry class with me, I will definitely have my, I'll call the blue gun or red gun. Hey, I'm colorblind. I know it's yellow. Uh, at the class, and I'm going to use this moving forward as a teaching technique or a teaching tool to educate students who don't have the proper grip. If someone has a proper grip, we don't need the tool. But for educational purposes, it would be great. Once again, Marcus Melnick with Firearm Mentor, firearmmentor.com. I hope that you will share, like, and subscribe to my videos. I do roughly three or four a month on various uh, firearms topics and safety topics. So future videos may be how to use a fire extinguisher, smoke detectors, um, not getting lost, those types of things, because it's all interrelated. You know, safety is safety. Uh, while I specifically focus on self-defense with handguns, there's other safety elements that are uh, certainly come into play. And I'll give you one tip right now. When you go into a movie theater, I have my children do this. When you go into a movie theater, note where the exits are. What is going to happen at a movie theater? Well, the most probable thing that will happen could be smoke in the building. You have, you've got cooking going on. You've got electronic projectors going on. You know, it's possible something could ignite, catch on fire, electrical fire, whatever. And you're going to need to be able to make your way to the exit. It also helps you if there is, a, God forbid, an active shooter. So know your exits. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, if you have questions, you want to see a video 
on a future topic, please reach out to me via my website, firearmmentor.com, and everyone stay safe. Thank you.